Alrighty, we are back, and as you can tell by the star map, we are just logging in. Um, I haven't done anything off camera since the last episode. So we've got pretty much the basic structure of the ship done. We have our command deck, we have our mezzanine, we have our boardroom. We have drones coming in already because, of course, they are. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, we have our med bay underneath the mezzanine. Um, and then behind the med bay, we have... Actually, this would be easier. So in this section here... Oh, hey, check that out. That's fun. Um, crew quarters in here, along with their little kind of rest area. We've got the O2 room over here. We've got the jump drive room over here. We've got kind of like a little rest area here. And then farther back, we have our reactor room on this side. We have our production facilities back here. And then we have our barn entertainment area back there. And then under all of this is our hangar. So it's got just about everything that we need. However, this is not yet flight ready. So that's kind of what we're going to be working on. Um, all right. So uh, I did get a comment um, on the last video about, let me just see if I can bring it up real quick. Doo -doo -doo. Right, uh, so this is from Steam Lance, so thank you for commenting, appreciate it. Um, he says that I feel like the hangar should ha have the lights be a cooler color, so you go from an industrial look to something more homely. Additionally, maybe color things in the med room to a lighter color to look more clean. And then also I can tell by your spelling of color that you are not from America, so uh, wherever you're from, welcome. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they spell it that way in Canada or if that's just Great Britain. Or perhaps maybe other places like South Africa. I don't know. But anyways. Um, so the one thing that I am worried about doing that, though, is the bleed through that we might get. Um, so for instance, if we take a look at this light right here. Uh, wow, did they change this? No, they didn't. OK, so it just looked, just looked weird. Um, so we have this radius, right? And that radius pays no heed whatsoever to walls. So if I were to go into the medical room, like I would leave this more of a homely color, but then if I go into this area, I would probably make this one like the bright white, um, in which case this would go up to that. And this would just, like, you see it just kind of makes everything just a bit more sterile looking, like it's not quite as warm. Um, but the problem is that this is set up to 15 meters. So it'll go, uh, let's see, 15 meters is going to be, what, seven and a half blocks away from this light. So that's going to color all the way out here, in there, in this area here, and also up on the mezzanine, and, you know, down below it also. Is that another drone? There's another drone. Yeah, we got to get rid of that ship. Uh, so we'll probably do that in this episode as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm just worried that this is going to bleed through and go up to the mezzanine, which I want to be like a warmer color. Um, let me just head up there. Do, 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 do. And so, like, I don't know. Is that another drone coming in? Oh, and we've got, we have a carrier going by as well. So that could probably also spawn some things at me. There's a lot of stuff going on around here, but I don't know. I suppose it doesn't didn't really change anything in here too much as far as the color. So, I mean, maybe I'm just worried about nothing. Always possible, I suppose. And then to go with a cooler color for the hanger and like this, this does not look right. Like in here, it just looks way too bright. So I'm wondering if I'm getting that bleed through from somewhere else or if that's literally just this light. Maybe I drop this down. Let me guess. Another drone? Yeah, another drone. And then we'll change this down to 2.5 because I want like because this is supposed to be a corridor, right? And corridors aren't like 100% lit like the entire way. So I want it to be, no, I don't want to respond. I want you to hit the enter button and then delete. 
cube. Okay. See, so it should have like bright sections and then dark and then bright, you know, under light and then dark and then bright again and then, you know, a little bit of dark. So I feel like that's the way that this should go. Um, maybe it's that light up there that's so bright. I don't know. But anyways, uh, so a cooler color would be more of a blue hue. Um, so if we go into the bar area and then down into the hang, oh, and then also I put this in there so that way we know that that's hangar access. Um, so I can fill that in eventually. I'm not really too worried about it right now. Okay, so then down in here, instead of going with the warmer color, we would go with more of a, a cooler color. So instead of, so we might go with like a 255 here and then like a 231 here. And that will give us, it's definitely like a much cooler color. And it's, it's kind of the direct opposite of the warm color that I was using. So, I mean, we could use that, but once again, I'm worried about the bleed through because like that light up there, that's gonna light up everything up in there too. And I don't want the stuff up there to be in the cooler hue, so I don't know. Um, okay, so we're gonna copy all this except for the name. And then we'll paste that into here. Yeah, because I mean, these are like right on there and I don't know how that's gonna bleed through and I'm worried about it, but we'll try it just to see if it does anything, I suppose. And then we'll change this to be that as well. All right, so now this is definitely a much cooler color in here. It's not quite so warm, um, which I mean, I suppose makes sense since it is like just a hanger, but I still feel like, I don't know, I just I just don't want it to bleed through. That's like my only thing. Is that another freaking drone? Jesus, man. And I suppose it, it's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it still looks pretty warm through here, so I suppose, I suppose that'll be fine. What are you set at? You're good to go. Okay, and then in the reactor room, how are we looking in here? Still kind of warm, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there you go, Steam Lance. We have uh, taken a look at the lights. All right, and now uh, I need gyros if I want this thing to go anywhere. So, um, that is the reason why I have all of this space up here. I don't know how many gyros I'm gonna need. Um, probably a decent number. And I could put them kind of like on the sides here, I suppose, instead of on the ceiling. Cause then I could leave the ceiling relatively kind of bare, which I think works better for a ceiling. I mean, I could put in like some beams that might look kind of good. And the drink for this video is some very sour pink lemonade, which is amazing. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to drink lemonade, like, it's got to be sour. It's got to, like, make your face pucker, you know? Okay, so we've got all of these guys here. And they all still need to build. So that's going to be a lot of front and rear thrust. Um, we are still going to have to worry about putting in our... Uh, upper and lower thrust. So what I was talking about in the last episode is we'll take some more of these things here and we'll put them up in here and we'll have the flames here kind of blow across the ceiling and then we'll cover it with glass uh, so that way, you know, it like it's, it's just going to be kind of protected and we only have to go out five blocks because these are the small ones. If you've got the large ones and you have to go out seven, I think, seven or nine, one of the two. Um, okay, so uh, let me grab some stuff. Okay, so we'll do that here. And that's gonna be just kind of like the edge for 
the glass because we're going to do the the one by one angles or the diagonals whatever you want to call them um okay so window do i still have girders i should still have girders do i have girders i have no girders okay so we're going to need some girders um and i don't have an easy way out of here which kind of sucks whoops no i want you to open Thank you. Okay. Girders, 20. I'm probably going to need more than 20, though. Uh, girders. We'll grab, like, another 20 on top of that. It should be good. Well, I mean, I suppose 20 might have worked. No, 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 no. Can I go in? Haha, <laughs> made it. Nice. Um, okay, so let us get this in here, and then we're going to uh, invert this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. But at this point, I think it would make more sense to move that light down. Dude, we have so many drones coming in, it is ridiculous. Okay, and then I wanna go back to this, and we're gonna kinda build like a ridge here, just kinda down the center of the ship. All right, and then this guy, it's gotta go. And then we can put the light back in on here. And then is that gonna be centered? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so we will grab all of this stuff, except for the name, copy it, and then paste it over here. Okay, now that'll be good for that. Call from scam likely. Scammers, man. It's like, just leave me alone. I'm trying to record a video here. Uh, okay, so back to the windows. Windows. Thank you. All right, is that the right way? I believe that is the right way. And then we will flip this guy that way. Okay, so now this is six windows here, which means that we can get by with two three by threes. So that is what we're gonna do. And then we'll put this on here. Uh, we want this one though. There we go. So that'll go there and there and there and there. Okay. So now we have more left and right thrust. Now. If you'll notice on the ship, we don't have any up and down thrust yet. Um, and that's because I'm going to be building that on the outside of the ship. Um, and we're going to kind of nestle it in a few places, uh, kind of where the bell kind of curves out. We have another drone coming in, apparently. I really have to do something about that ship. Um, okay. So the next thing that we could probably put in here is some gyroscopes. And I don't know how many I'm going to need. But I'm assuming it's going to be a lot. So where are the gyroscopes? So we're going to go with these ones, of course. And then we're going to put them kind of in here on the wall. And then we'll angle that down. And then we'll do another one over here. And then we can do another one here. Now, these are tier five, so I don't know how many of these I'm gonna need. I'm assuming it's gonna be more than just six, though. Uh, but we'll leave those there for now, let them kind of build up. And if I need to put in more, I can. But for right now, they're just kind of up and out of the way. So then I suppose the next thing that I need to do is put in sensors, so that way the doors will open when I need them to. Um, so that means that I need to label all of these, which is not going to be fun. And then also, I kind of want to build this up so that we can not have this gap. 
kind of in there. And then I want to do something in here too, because having this little piece stick out just kind of, it's not working for me. Um, and we can't take out this block here because I think, yeah, that's uh, one of the odd blocks. It's not just a straight block. So, um, yeah, labeling. So, let's see. I don't even know what I'm going to call this thing. Hello, do you want to open for me, please? Thank you. Uh, okay, so rear hanger U1. Okay. And then we're going to copy everything but, or everything, well, only the name. And that'll make this at least a little bit easier. And then we can call that two. And then we can call this one three. Delete that. Okay. Okay. And now this will be L1. And then we'll select everything except for no. Select only the name. Okay. And then we'll copy. And then place. Set another drone coming in. Jesus, man. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Okay. So that'll be all of those. And then I have to rename all of these, but I think I'm gonna need some power first. So I'm gonna head up to the bedroom. Good to go. This is a very big ship. All right. Ah, now for this. Um, Okay, so this is going to have to be, let's see, front hanger U7, because I want to label them all from the same side, so we're going from the right to the left, uh, I think that'll work, and then we want to copy everything. And then to unselect things, you just kind of rotate to it and you click the middle mouse button and then page up to copy. This way, and then this is going to be lower one. 
one. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and copied two, three. This is super exciting, by the way. This is like the most fun that I've ever had doing this, like just playing the game. Like this, this right here is what it's all about. Like space engineers, like the fighting, the building, nah. It's the labeling things. That's where it's at. Okay. So now that I have that, I can work on sensors. Now I think I want to put the sensor on the inside so it's, you know, protected. And then, okay, so then, what would be the best way to do this? So we're going to put one sensor here. And then this sensor, I think I'm going to put on the outside, or should I put them both on the outside? I don't know. Does it, does it matter? Does, does it matter? I don't know if it matters. Uh, okay, so we want to go into the info and then show the sensor's field range. And then we have to... There was like something that we had to do for this in order for it to actually show up. Um trying to remember what that was because like right now obviously we can't see the sensor range right so I know that the top extent we're gonna want to go like half a block so that's like 1.25 uh, bottom extent is gonna extend to the other side of the door so we have to go um, let's see Five, yeah, because we're going to here, so that's like two blocks out, one block out. I can't tell. Um, five will give me two blocks. I think we want to do eight point. 8.75, I think, I don't know. Uh, top extent is good, back extent. Um, this, we need this to be like 0.1. And then front extent has to go down, so one, two, three, four, five blocks. So five times 2.5. Uh, 12.5, that sound right? I think that's right. But yeah, I don't remember what it is to show the range. Because there's like one other thing that you have to do other than just setting it, like in the info. Anyways, uh, we have to go into here and set it up now. Okay, so first thing we need the hanger doors and front hanger, lower and upper. So this is going to be hanger doors front. Okay, and then we go into here, set up actions. So first one is what to do if it detects which is going to be to open. And then the other one is what to do when it doesn't detect, and which is going to be to close. OK. So for instance, if I were to get within its range, it should open. And then as soon as I go outside of its range, so we're still in its range here. And then if we back out of its range, then it closes again. Unless we get back in its range, in which case it'll open again. So that's good for that one. So now all I have to do is just kind of like 
Oh, interesting. Uh, these are all going to have to be labeled as manual. That sucks. Ah, uh, crap. Hanger door. Okay. And then manual. Actually, can I copy this? And actually, I want to go all the way down to here. Copy. So I just have to click, click, by the way, this right here, this is also what it's all about. And that's renaming or modifying the names of all the blocks that you've already named. Like that's, that's where it's at. Okay, and so what this little uh, exclamation point and then manual tag does is it tells the programmable block which is running IC simple doors uh, to ignore these ones. So instead of opening and closing, you know, whenever, or in this case for the hangar doors to close automatically after a few seconds, uh, these will be ignored by that completely and will only respond to the sensors. So now if I come into here, everything opens. And so long as I'm within its range, it should stay open. At least that's how I think this is supposed to work. Uh, and that guy, I got to take care of that guy. Yeah, so at this point, um, the simple door strip should have told these things to close. And since it has not, that means that it worked. So now when I back off, and then when I go back in, good to go. All right. And then also, I want to see what kind of distance I have here. And it should be when I get within about a block or two. So I'm roughly here. OK, so basically, as soon as I cross over this block, then they'll open, which I'm OK with. Um, also, let me just hop through here real quick. And the game freezes because, of course, it does. All right. So um, we're going to set up this one. And we're going to do it in here because we do have the space to do it. So we can do that. And then we can also protect it a little bit if we do that. Um, and then I think what I want to do is I'm going to just copy everything that I put on the other one. And it should be the same. So if I grab all of these settings, except for the name, and I copy them all, then when I go out over to here and put all of these settings in, That should work. OK. And now I need to go to the hangar doors for the rear. OK, so hangar doors rear. Good. And we go into here, set up the actions, groups rear. OK, so then this is going to be open, and then this is going to be closed. OK, good to go. And then we let that kind of sink in there for a little bit. And we're good to go. And then it should close if we get outside of this area. And then open. OK, so I'm off a little bit on the side to side, but that should be fine. Um, it's, it's working. So that's really all I care about, because now I can actually park vehicles in here if I need to. Uh, I also need this to detect small grid vehicles. So let me see, detect small ships. Here we go. And then I need to do the same thing over here on this one. Do, 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 do. Detect small ships. OK. And then that should be good. All right, and then this should open once I get close. Good.
and then it closes automatically. So that is the hangar doors all figured out. Um, next thing I suppose is going to be figuring out where we want to put uh, all of our up and downward thrusters. So I'm thinking we put them. Actually, what are these blocks? Okay, so not there. So maybe we kind of put them in here in a few places. I mean, I could put them under here and do like five or seven or however many I can fit in here. It looks like five, no, seven. So I could do seven here, seven up above, and that way they're all kind of protected by this thing here, the nacelle. So if I do take any you know, fire from the side, there's a better chance that it's going to hit this and not the thrusters. So probably be a good idea. Um, but we're going to go with this block. And yeah, so these are going to be Oh, and I did not want to do that. I just turned some of those blocks to scrap. It's a terrible idea. And then this will be the last one. Okay, and then I need to recharge real quick. So I think we're doing good so far. All right. So now I need to put all of these thrusters in. And that does take them roughly to where I want them to be. Although I do want them to be a little bit more protected, so I might actually sync them up a block. Um, so let's see, put these in here. Okay, so that's it for that side. And I have to do the same thing over here on this side. So that'll be from this block over. Okay, so that'll be good there. And then we can put in all of these here. So they're mostly protected except for the half block at the bottom. So just that little bit there, but all the rest of this should protect them relatively well. Um, and then we need uh, over here, and I'm thinking I want to take out, uh, which block do I want to take out? Probably this one, I'm thinking. Or do I want to go, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, let me take out this full block and then also that block down there. And we'll see kind of how that goes. I think that's all in the right spot. That'll be one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. Okay, this actually works out nicely, I think. Now we can take these guys. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're going to have 14 up and 14 down thrusters. Uh, once we get the other side done. And that should cover us with enough thrusters for basic movement. I think I think we'll be good with that. So let me go ahead and take out this one. Okay, so that still leaves all of our inside stuff to be protected um, normally. And then if something does get blown up over here, odds are it'll just create a breach into the hangar bay, which is better because we won't be losing any atmosphere uh, inside the ship. Okay, so 14 up, 14 down. Um, and then we're gonna have nine left, nine right. Um, and then we're gonna have a lot going forward and backwards. So I think that'll be good, but we are gonna need a ton of thrusters just to make this thing work. Like a ton, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, okay, so now that we've got kind of all of the things that we need on here to make it functional, now, keep in mind that each one of these is, I think, three times as powerful as a basic thruster. So if you're not using the tiered systems, this would be the equivalent of putting in, like if I have 14 up and 14 down, multiply that by three, and you end up with 42 thrusters going up and down. So just to kind of give you an idea there. So like thrust is 950 kilonewtons, and then if we go to tier two, it's like half that. So and then based on this, thrust for, okay, so maybe the basic thruster is like 350, I would say, 350 kilonewtons, if I had to guess, and then this is 950, so 350 times 3 is going to be, what, 1050, so it's a little under 3 times, so it would be like having 38, 39, 40-ish normal thrusters uh, going up and down, so it should, should be enough to move this. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be the most agile thing in the world, but uh, it should, you know, should move. All right, uh, so next thing is we're going to take out that ship over there because it's bothering me. Do we have missiles? Yes. Do we have missiles? Yes. Okay. Okay, and apparently one of my hydrogen thrusters is off, which is weird. Uh, let's see, thrusters, hydrogen on, that one, okay. Here we go. And apparently we're missing one of our ion thrusters too. Atmospheric, large atmospheric, sci-fi, that one. Okay. Oh no, that's atmospheric. I don't want the atmospheric on. Duh. Okay, there we go. Some of these are not finished. Let's turn that one on just because. And that should. Yeah. So what we need on is on. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, should I refuel? I should probably refuel before I go too far and end up damaging my guns. Okay. <laughs> All right. And number two menu, and then we will refill. Is 
And that's all the hydrogen we have. Well, that's not good. Uh, okay, the base is drained out of hydrogen, so we're going to have to go and do uh, a hydrogen run one of these days. Okay, so I'm, I'll probably do that off camera though because that's kind of boring. Um, all right, so we need to go after that guy. He hasn't sent a drone in a little while though, so doesn't mean that there aren't drones there. And if I follow this little trail of wreckage, I can probably pick up a lot of scrap. And I'm just going to kind of cruise through here pretty slow, pick up what I can. Oh yeah, it's sour. Oh man, it's so good though. I mean, I'm the kind of guy who can like eat like a raw lemon, just like, just eat it. Um, because I can also taste like the sweetness in there along with the sour, which, you know, helps. Look at all of this scrap, dude. It's ridiculous. Okay, anyways, I wanna take a look at this ship. And okay, so what do we have? We have a gun there. Um, missile launcher there. We definitely want to take that out if we can. Um, so we have to take out that. We have to take out that. And then I also need to make sure that I don't hit this thing down into gravity so I can actually reclaim a lot of the pieces and parts on here. So. Uh, that's what we're going to go and try to do, anyways. Because I need the thruster components, because I need the titanium. Because I don't have a titanium deposit. Also, yeah, we are picking up a lot of scrap. And nickel? Why are we picking up nickel? That's weird. Oh, uh, also, another thing that I could probably check is uh, my food and water situation. There it is, computer is being stupid. Um, okay, so I have 3.32 water. So I'm gonna move over like five. We're still good on food. Um, okay, so that can go in there. And then we should be good for the rest of that. Okay, interesting. Uh, my dampeners are not locked to the ship, which is weird. Okay, so now uh, we go for the hard part, which is getting close enough um, to shoot missiles and then also trying to avoid everything at the same time. So that's gonna be uh, interesting. And it's probably going to send in drones after me as well. What is that over there? Another ship? Are you kidding me? Go away. Uh, also, is my shield up? My shield is up. Okay, good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, aim at the missile turret thingy thing, aim at the guns, and then get the hell out. And we're going to swing off to the right. So let me just uh, kind of get this in here going. Oh, I said I was going to swing off to the right. Ended up swinging off to the left. Oh, my God. Go, go, go. Why are you not going? Why am I still getting shot by stuff? What the hell is still shooting at me? Go away. Dude, we just took a lot of damage. Drones. There's like two drones coming after me. All right. Oh, and we are really, really close to that. 
No wonder we were taking so much damage. <sighs> okay. Um, I will be right back. Gotta take care of something real quick. Okay. And we are back, and sound is still good. So that is good. All right. So we, I don't know what the hell just happened, but we just got smoked by a bunch of stuff. And did we lose our tank? We, oh shit, did we lose our tank? This could be bad. Um, no, we didn't lose our tank, so that's good. Am I in, oh shit, I'm in planetary gravity too. Can I move forward? Do I have any forward thrust? I do not. Okay. <laughs> This is uh, not great. Can I back up? I can, okay. So I'm just trying to back out of planetary gravity right now, which means that we're gonna have those drones coming back in, which is not fun actually. But we are repairing ever so slowly. And now we're taking more damage because of course we are. All right, so we have officially left planetary gravity. Okay. And now I have to slow down somehow and then figure out where I need to get to. Okay, so we need to go there. Okay, so we're actually close, which is good. Um, do I have left or right thrust? I have left thrust. I have bottom thrust. I don't have any thrust over here on this side, though. So that took a lot of damage, and it looks like my shield didn't do a damn thing, so that's fun. Uh, Looks like I lost the connector as well, so that's that's also fun. Um, okay. I have no forward thrust. Okay, so I need to get sort of towards the base or the station or whatever we want to call it. So, did any of you guys even see my shield activate? Like, did it even do anything? <laughs> did I lose the shield controller? Ah, oh, crap. Yep, I lost the shield controller. Which means that I'm not going to have shields again because they need titanium. Okay, so I need to go kind of like down this way. I think. Maybe tilt it this way a little bit. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out how to get somewhat back. see anything okay where 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 are we going right now okay so we're kind of kind of going in the right direction sort of okay so we need to get down there we're kind of kind of on our way and we need to kind of straighten ourselves out a little bit Okay, and now we've gotten rid of all of that momentum. And apparently we have another. Okay, so now I need to back up.
We have another drone coming in, because of course we do. Okay, and now we need to drop ourselves down ever so slowly. back up now, if you don't mind. Nope, gotta go in here somehow, I think. Okay. So there you go, maneuvering when you don't have all of your thrusters. Super fun. And by super fun, I mean not fun. <laughs> ah, my god. This poor ship. And I don't even know if I disabled that other ship over there, so who knows. Okay. And then this just needs to drop down a little bit, I think. And this guy's going to be pretty much out of commission until we can get more thrusters for it. Uh, whoops. Not quite what I wanted to do. it goes off a little bit. Okay. So I need you, sir, to back up. Whoa, not that fast. Not that fast. Hello? Can you slow down, please? Oh, I have the dampeners off. That's why. <sighs> okay. Probably a bad idea doing that. Okay, so I do have left and right thrust, so maybe I should like, but I don't have rear rear thrust. So if I adjust myself, that's not really going to work, is it? <sighs> okay, let's try this again. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just I'm just wasting time at this point. Um, ship isn't moving, so we'll just kind of leave it here for now. But we need platinum, and we need a lot of it. And I don't have any. And I need to take these guys out, and that guy out. And there was supposedly another private sail in here somewhere because it was also shooting at me because it was an asshole. Um, but I don't even know if I can grab onto that thing, and I can't do it with this thing because I don't have enough thrust for it anymore, which kind of sucks. I 
I mean, unless we have some thrusters available in here, maybe? I have no idea. We have tier six. I don't want to take those apart, though. Do we have any normal thrusters, or is that it? Looks like that's it. So yeah, we really have no platinum, and really no sources of platinum either, which is kind of crappy. Um, but hydrogen shouldn't need that, so what do you need? Metal plates and tier four hydrogen components. And that's tier five, okay. Oh, man. I should have probably checked to make sure the shield was actually functioning. Probably would have been a good idea. Okay, so tier four hydrogen components, I believe, require platinum. And they do. And then what do you need for that? Cobalt? We're low on cobalt right now? Really? I have no way of getting cobalt. Unless I take this over to and jump to like a cobalt mine or something. Or a cobalt asteroid. Because, <laughs> I mean, this thing doesn't have like all of the required thrusters. So moving this thing is going to be a very bad idea. I mean, I can pitch and roll with the best of them, I suppose, but at the same time, it's like, eh, do we really want to do that? I mean, it's, I suppose it's the best option that I have right now. Um, and then I could just have, you know, this ship build things. Um, okay, so we're going to grab uranium. Uh, I don't know if I want to grab that much uranium. Yeah, like 335. And then we'll throw that in here so that way we can recharge kind of as we go. And then if we're careful, uh, we might be able to make this thing work. But I don't know. We'll see. But right now, my best option, I think, is going to be to. And actually, let me see. Uh, cargo. We do have 13.3 platinum on here. So we could technically. And we do have. Ooh, a bunch of thruster components on here. Really? 500 thruster components. Let's take all those apart. Um, and that'll give us a decent amount of platinum. Not a lot, but some at least. And then depending on how careful I am, I could potentially get some of the left and no, some of the top and up and down thrusters working. Hmm. But yeah, I would need to make a bunch of these, but I need titanium for these and uranium. So let me go and grab some titanium because I don't think we have any on the ship. And then also, uh, some additional ammo would probably be a good idea. Just guessing. And we have a lot of that. So let me grab the titanium. We have a thousand. Wow. Okay, so we'll grab a thousand titanium. Wish I had that much platinum. That would be nice. Uh, 
Oh, we already have a bunch of titanium in here. Huh. Imagine that. Okay, how is our production going? So we're still working on that, which is good. Uh, so with this, we should be able to build uh, some thruster components. Maybe a thousand. That requires 0.29 each. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's going to be less than four per. So then that times 80 is going to be, what, like 320? I suppose that's better than nothing. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to disassemble. I want to assemble those. so sour. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> All right, so I have no idea which thrusters that is currently building. Um, another thing that I want to check, though, is all of the built and repair units, um, which is a lot. Okay, so B and R's, no to this, M, K, 2. All right, fly, grind, build new. Oh, I need to make a projection of this ship. That would probably be a good idea. Hmm. And then that grinds off the neutral blocks. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that we need. So let me see if it is building, or if it built, I should say, any of the upper and lower thrusters. Haha! -ha. We have one lower thruster. Good. We have none over here, which is fine. And that is probably going to keep on trying to build that. Maybe. And then I need this to be built, which requires metal plates. Don't think I have too many of those. Um, okay. I mean, I could always grab some out of here, I suppose. So hopefully that will be enough to build up one of these. Okay, good. Everything else can go in there. Okay, so now this just needs the superconductors and the thruster components. So I'm gonna take this guy out. Put what I can in here. And then scrap the rest. superconductor out of here if you don't mind okay so that should be all of the things to complete this okay so now we have one up thruster we have one down thruster and then the rest of this stuff we can make as we go but with that we should be able to very 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 slowly um, adjust ourselves 
So that makes us a little bit safer. Um, as far as actually going out there and doing something. Uh, but uh, we are also going to need ice because hydrogen and also you know oxygen as well because we need that to breathe a little bit. Uh, and then I also want to do something about these things. I don't know if I can though and I think that's another assertive ship out there. I don't know if it's dead or what. But I... Mm, I don't know. There's a lot that I have to try to do here. Um, and then also this ship doesn't have any kind of a beacon or an antenna either. So, yeah. But uh, we are over an hour. So before I go off on another adventure, I'm going to end this one here. Um, I might do some of this work off camera because it's just going to be a lot of just going to asteroids and collecting things because we're going to need to collect a lot of things. Um, let's see, we're going to need cobalt. Uh, probably going to need to stock up on our iron and all of that other stuff. Let me just see what I have. Okay, so no, we're good on iron. Let's see. I could actually make superconductors. And I know I need that for the thrusters, so that'll get at least some of those going. Um, we have a decent amount of uranium. We have very, very, very low platinum, which kind of sucks. So if I could find some platinum while I'm out there, that would be great. But at this point, I don't even have an ore detector, nor a ship that can handle an ore detector. I mean, I could... I suppose I could try to pilot the armored platypus in here and then like maybe just kind of rebuild that as I go. That would probably be a good idea. But I have no idea how that's even going to work. Um, okay, so let me take out one of these. And put that in the back. Okay. Okay, so now we have front and rear thrust. We have down thrust. We have left, right thrust. Do we have, do we have right thrust? We have right thrust. We have a little tiny bit of right thrust. Okay, so with that, we should be able to pilot this thing into the belly of the Nautilus very, very, very slowly. So we'll just move forward a little bit. And then we also need to refill this thing's hydrogen as well. So that's going to, oh man, like I said, we're going to need a lot of stuff. And that's probably going to make for a really, really, really boring video, so... Why is that repairing now? It's just being silly. Okay. So, this is the first time I've actually tried to put the armored platypus in here, honestly. Can you open? How close can I get? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hopefully I don't hit anything on the way in. Okay. Armor platypus. It fits in here. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew that it would because I designed it to fit in here, but still nice to know that it does, in fact, fit in here. Um, okay, so I don't think this will actually connect because I've got those guns in the way. Oh, it does! 
It does. Oh my god. Okay. Um, connector. Switch lock. Okay. We are locked in. Uh, good to go. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, we kind of. Oh, is there another drone coming in, dude? So rude. Anyways, um, that's all I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you did, hope you'll join me for the next one. But yeah, have a good one.